Oh, he did. I, I'm appalled. I can't believe it. <laughs> Justin Leverich on the Magnets on a Tuesday. Resplendent in his new club top. I knew you wanted me to wear it. <laughs> so for you, for you, I was able to organise it on the way in today to have the full magpie kit on just for you. How does it go with that Lions premiership tattoo on your ankle? Oh, hey, I don't have one of those. <laughs> How quickly can you get rid of things like that? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so looking forward to it. I really am. And I, I did. Well, I loved every moment of the media this year. In fact, a lot of people in, in Clubland tell me I'm the smartest man alive, given the fact they were just nonstop flying from one place to the next and not knowing where to go. And I really felt for our coaches and players this year of all the things they had to go through to keep the season alive. So in a lot of ways, I've missed... Um, a lot of the the bad part of this yep. season, which which um, which I'm, I'm somewhat thankful for, but um, but I'm just so wrapped to get back into it, into a new group and a, a really motivated group as well that want to improve. So what's what is it ultimately that that has you going back? The head of strategy at Collingwood. Well, the, well, a couple of things. Obviously, my great mate got the role, and he's really keen to have me in as well. I think that's part the part two is that you know, and he was really keen for me to show my strength area and. and and help him along the journey as well. So that's obviously a really big part of it as well, um, is, is grabbing a group together and creating something amazing. So that, that to me is probably the, the thing that draws you to football from the very start. The, the role itself, I, I guess, is just a matter of um, me playing to my strengths. I mean, I mean, no one would know me any better than Craig McRae. So he's created a role, really, that suits me. And, my, and to be perfect, I've had a few conversations over the years, and the role was heading to something like this, give it – whatever title you like. It was kind of a little bit of the big picture, but in footy nowadays, you still got to do, you know, the day to day grind. You still, I will still be doing the, the back line for instance, and, and helping those players and developing them and making them better men and better footballers as well. So it's not all just sitting in an office behind a computer. So, which is what people would perceive given the title. So walk us through the, the, the layers to the job as you perceive it. Yeah, there's three layers and um, really, so there's the big picture, the strategy component, which really all, all that is, is making sure we're on top of what's going on and everyone's understanding of what we need to do uh, out in the field and also be open to new ideas and, and explore those um, and how they fit in. So there's whenever you're going down a path of deciding how you want to play or what you want to do, there's a lot of layers to it. There's the personnel you've got, there's some... Uh, ideas on coaching, there's, um, there's the philosophy of, of the total club and how you want to play. Do you want to play an exciting brand? Do you want to play a defensive style? All those sorts of things can cater into your decision making. Um, and then you've got obviously the numbers to back things up. You've got the opposition coaches in there as well so they can decide, well, this is what this team's doing. So you, you sort of mash all that together and say, okay, this is the best course of action for now. And again, it's not an oracle role. It's not me, not what I say goes. It's a, it's very much working with everybody to, to come to the best possible result um, and almost, or almost be, I guess, the media mediator. Sorry, of yep. the um, of, of the room to say, you know, given all of these things, this is the way we should do it. Given the potential age of your group, whatever. There's a lot of factors that go in to a particular way you should approach this. The people piece of it, and this is, I guess, this is the the most modern frontier. Um, are you looking forward to that part of it? Oh, I am. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to getting out of the house <laughs> first and foremost. I think a lot of people are, but I'm um, getting back to a. A football environment, um, I, I love that. It's been my life, really. I mean, I've spent up until this season 27 years just being at a football club. Um, so a lot of people say you haven't lived a real job, but and, but really that's a dream. for, for a, So uh, I'm looking forward to that part of it. I love the camaraderie of groups. Um, so I'm really looking forward to, to getting back into that part of it also. How far do you go back with Craig McRae? He did tell us the cockroaches story. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was recruited after me, funny enough, as a mature recruit in uh, 95. And we did live together for the first Three months he was there, and I did bring cockroaches into his house with my uh, <laughs> when I moved in because we were in storage, and the storage where it was at at the Bears at the time there was cockroaches in there, and then I transplanted them into the brand new house <laughs> we lived in. So that was that was our, our starting point. But we've been obviously great mates ever since then. So um, and I'm I'm wrapped for him, and obviously want to be a good support for him as well, um, as does Brennan Bolton as well, uh, to make sure uh, his career is strong as well. What do you see in it? So we've had this conversation at various stages along the way. What 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 do you see in him that draws you to want to be at his shoulder? Oh uh, well, he's he's completely likable. I mean that that's and that's it shouldn't be the be all and end all. But I, I think one thing that every player wants is a coach that they they know where they sit, which he's got a good ability to do that. But also you know work with them and um, and take responsibility to do that. I think that's that's where his strength area lies. Apart from just being. Um, a really good likeable guy. I mean, I don't know anyone that doesn't like fly, so that's always a good starting point, isn't it, when your coach is like that?
have you called dibs on Darcy Moore? He's my. He's a defender. He's mine. Oh, I think if, if anyone's listened to one thing I've said the whole year, I think that's the one thing that might be haunting me, the fact that I said he should be playing back. So bad luck fly, he's going back. Uh, like everybody at the footy club, he's mine. So. Excellent forward thinking, <laughs> even if you didn't know. Was there a point within the year that you decided, yep, I'm going to I'm gonna head back into footy? You wanted the breather mm. um, and you it felt like you weren't quite sure early days what, what your future would be. Can you pinpoint a moment? Was there anything that went, oh, yeah, actually, I, I really love this. So I want to keep going with it. Yeah, there was a combination of things. Um, I, I think when the decision time was always going to come in September, October, That's it's funny, footy, footy lives in cycles. Yep. So it's not like I decided in June, I can in June, but you know what, there's no jobs. No hires in that time of the year. It's sort of a hire and fire cycle right about now. Um, so as the year went, and, and, and look, I was, I was, there was bits I was missing about it throughout the year, about the, the stuff we've spoken about it, the camaraderie and so forth. And then there was other things that just eventuated, like COVID, uh, like the lockdowns, that, that I, I had a business that I was running and it shut completely. Uh, so any growth I'd made in that over the seven-month period was was put to bed. It was done. Um, and and so that, that also, obviously, when you've got a family and you've got to make decisions on whether you want to go out on your own and, and do something bigger, well, if you don't have – you haven't have the ability to do it. Well, you can't do it. So that also plays a I mean, that's the reality of, of a lot of people's lives at this point in time. So it, it, it's it's always, I think every decision we all make is a combination of a, of a lot of factors, yep. um, really. But I think that was almost a tipping point to go, well, you know, I think this is the best thing for everybody as well as the thing I'm leaning towards. So that, I think those two things combined were just made it a, a lot of easier decision. Who and what and when? Well, that was only decided three weeks ago with Fly. So um, I didn't know what it was going to look like. Um, and, and footy's ever changing and day to day and week to week, things were changing. So it was uh, and until he literally had the had the job, that, you know, everything before that was just pie in the sky thinking. Yep. What have you made of your season in the media? I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's It's... One the one benefit of it um, is the fact you get to meet people in, from a different bent, and I, and I probably um, I didn't know what to expect in 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 sort of meeting and getting to know people from the other side of the fence. And, and in essence, too, the the ninety percent of the people in the media are just good people and basically just want to tell a story and entertain the public. That's it's as simple as that. And sometimes the people in the football world are the pawns to that story a lot. So I can see where that. That's where that that grip lies, but often it's it's, it's probably taught me if anything that don't worry about it because you know there'll be a new story tomorrow or the next day. You know, so don't take it as personally. So that that's been really enjoyable, and the thing I've learned probably the most out of it. There's been some great people I've met as well, and you've bravely gone and decided to make a list. I did, which I I advise against. But oh, this you is go. this is a thank you list, but in some things I've learned. Um, so I've got I've got a couple of people that I've I've, I've liked. Craig Jennings, a student. I, I've really enjoyed getting to know Craig. He's uh, what, I didn't know him at all, really. Well, apparently we played, you know, under 18s, 94 in that time, but I can't remember him. But anyway, moving on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, he's been terrific, and and what a great fella too. And he he'd be a fantastic addition to a footy club again now. Like it's it, that's the level of IQ and intelligence. Um, you know, he, he should really, you know, when I think about it, be there. Um, the journo. This is the this is the line. I thought, okay, the journos. The, these are the ones that you know, you know, reveal all your dirty laundry. But <laughs> Sammy Edmund, the, the man, he what a great bloke he is. He's got a great ability to be a good guy, but also give the story. And do, it's a it's a real art form, I think, to do both. And a lot get it wrong. They either the, the, what they I guess presents too personal um, and not factual enough, and also building the relationship as well. I think he's got a great balance. So well done. I love Sammy and enjoyed Sammy this year. Uh, I've loved working with Daisy, the pioneer. I'm looking forward to the day that she joins the coaching ranks yes. in footy. I think she's the one that, that will, you know, change the face of, of football going forward. Um, so I'm just hopefully Daisy maybe in black and white in a few years, maybe trying to get her, get her over the board to, to come to our footy club. Um, Could you imagine her one day as, as the first female coach in the AFL landscape, never mind the AFLW landscape? Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, she she would with um with Craig Jennings. You know the level of intelligence they both bring. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a lot to coaching, obviously, than just being uh, an intelligent person. But she, she, yeah, absolutely. There's no reason why that can't happen. Um, 
just from a seven perspective, Hamish McLaughlin's been awesome fun yeah. to work with. He is just he is a crackpot. He is one of the funniest <laughs> guys behind the scenes that you'll ever meet. Um, so he's been and really helpful to me because obviously I'm a real rookie in those sorts of things. And when you know you, you sit there for the first time, it says five, four, three, two, one. You're like, oh, this is going live. <laughs> oh, oh. So it is it is a difficult position to be in. Um, and doing my first time doing that, so that was. He's been a great support. Um, and lastly, you, Jared, the pro, um, just making sure I stay structured, which is really hard to do at times. So you sending out every day uh, without fail, the schedule, the key points, um, all asking what I need to do and bringing the best out of me. Those that, You're the pro. You're the ultimate pro. And it sounds weird doing this head-to-head with you on this show, given the fact, but you, the f- support you've uh, obviously shown me. And I've, right now I know why you're where you are in life. There's no, there's actually one of Craig McRae's great sayings is you don't fluke where you are. So he would say to Collingwood right now, you don't fluke being 17th. There's a reason. So, and the same with you, Jerry, you don't fluke while you are where you are. So that's it. It's been enjoyed. Been a great ride though. Yep. I might be back one day. Who knows? Let's hope it's not next year. Jeez, I don't get kicked out that bloody early. <laughs> Hopefully <laughs> Let's hope it's in 10 years. <laughs> so we've got a, a Tuesday on the Magnus and we've got two crunch times to go. Yep. And the little treat, I don't know how Saturday is going to pan out because who knows what the week's at. The one thing we haven't done yep. is your thing organically became food analogies. <laughs> and we, we, we toyed with the idea of a full menu, 18-team yep. food analogy. If if the week just stays on a course, that's crunch time Saturday, I um, Well, I've got it here. It's ready to go. If you're hungry, we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, Leopard terrific. Thank you. Thanks, Sheriff. We'll see you next Tuesday. On the Magnets, Justin Leppich, the the head of strategy at Collingwood now, resplendent in his new club top.